mortgage nationwide it takes on average 382 days so what's the big difference here to sort it all out and to tell me why I need to continue paying my mortgage bill is Fox <laughs> News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. This story fires me up. Yeah, I know it does. Yes, because three years I could I could save for college if I just sit in well, my home. There, there would be a lot of adverse consequences to you if you if you took the position that uh, they filed a notice of foreclosure and they have sued me, which is what they have to do in New Jersey uh, for foreclosure. Therefore, I'm not going to pay them. Uh, first of all, your debt would increase. And Fair secondly, your, your credit rating would be, uh, would be destroyed. And thirdly, is, any equity that you might have in the house would be worn away by the increased debt. But you, you know how it works. The problem is if I ever got before a judge, I plead hardship, I say something, and the bank works with me, well, and the next thing you know, I got a deal. Okay, but hardship is not a defense. Fine. Uh, what is a defense is that the bank didn't dot its I's and cross its T's. And that's why states like New Jersey and New York have what, what you have characterized as judicial foreclosure, foreclosure that must be approved by a judge after consent or a trial. It's to avoid the robo-stamping foreclosure that occurred in other states like Florida, where the bank just, uh, well, you know, there's a couple of blanks here where they should have filed it. We're going to stamp their name in. Submit the documents to a clerk. Clerk says everything is filed here. Bingo, the bank owns the house. And the homeowner never had an opportunity to say, I never saw that. I never read it. I never agreed to it. That's not my signature. So the, the judicial version of foreclosure forces the banks to be honest, to dot every I and cross every T. So they don't like it because it takes them three years to get their money. But so arguably the states, the 22 states that are judicial, thought they were doing a good thing when they declared themselves judicial. Well, they did. They thought that they were protecting the homeowner from a bank that might seize the property too quickly. Uh, just to give you an example, let's say you bought the house for 100000 and you borrowed seventy five and you put right. twenty five down. You, you owe the, the $75,000, mm -hmm. but let's say that the house is worth 50000 So you stop paying, the, the foreclosure goes through, the bank sells the house for 50000 pays itself the fifty. You still owe the bank that twenty five. Yes. The difference between what you borrowed and what the bank got back from the foreclosure. So foreclosure doesn't wipe out everything. It's just one way that the bank can get a portion of what you owe the bank right. paid back to the bank. But, and we only have a few seconds. But now it has caused such a backlog. Can the states undo their judicial status? Yes, it, they, they could enact legislation which would, uh, which would change the foreclosure proceeding, but you're not going to like this. That would only pertain to mortgages that were given after the date of the All legislation. Right, everyone would be grandfathered. Yes, yes, because you, you cannot take right. away this due process right from somebody that once had it. You can say to them in the future, right. if the bank wants to come after you, you can't get before a judge, but you can't change the right. law for people who, who already borrowed the money. So contract law holds there, but not apparently in Washington. Judge well, you. you can vote with your feet. You can live in you're Washington. Right. You're absolutely right. Or you can live in Massachusetts, or you can live in New Jersey. But New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, forget it. <laughs> Judge Andrew Napolitano, thank you, sir. Always a pleasure, guys. <laughs>